Good morning. We are officially live. Happy Friday. Super excited to be with you guys here today. Um, so let's go ahead and just kick off this Facebook Live Friday. So for this live, we are going to be discussing the coupon clipping ads that were just added to Amazon's platform. This is super exciting, guys. This is something that I can't wait for you all to take advantage of, not just now, but obviously in quarter four, which is coming up so, so quick. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, as far as how to set up this coupon clipping ad, all you'll have to do is go into Seller Central, go to the coupon clipping dashboard and set up your coupon clippings as normal. Now, as you set up your coupon clippings, obviously you guys know, step one is going to be, you know, obviously adding the correct SKUs, whatever SKUs that you want present on that on that coupon clipping, um, and then you're gonna transfer that over and add it to the coupon clipping. Now, obviously, you guys know that the next is going to be just setting up just those different things that are involved with the coupon clipping. So you're gonna go ahead and set, is this gonna be a percentage off or dollar off amount, right? That's gonna be step one. Um, you know, I know we're talking about the ad specifically here, but I do feel it is important that we give you kind of just our insight. You know, just in our experience, quite honestly, we have seen coupon clippings convert a lot better um, when it is uh, a dollar off amount rather than a percentage off amount. So if you've never tried dollar off amount, I highly recommend you give it a shot just because that is what we have seen convert a lot better. Um, but totally your call, right? So essentially you're going to set that up. You're going to go ahead and pick who can see the coupon clipping and obviously set the budget. Um, and then another thing I want to cover just while I'm on the call with you guys here is make sure you're setting that coupon clipping to be one redemption per customer. Um, truthfully, that's what we would like prefer is that it be one redemption per customer. And the reason being is you have a set budget. You don't want someone that's coming back constantly eating into that budget. So that's why we prefer to do that. Um, so again, setting up this coupon clipping ad is the goal here. So basically you're going to set up a coupon clipping just as normal. But once you press submit, what's really cool is Amazon is actually going to give you a chance to set up an SPA, a sponsored product ad. So essentially what you're going to do is when that pop-up comes up, you're going to go ahead and press, I want to set up a sponsored product ad. And then Amazon is going to take you over to the advertising campaigns dashboard, and it's going to have you create a campaign, right? And what's really cool about this is, you know, if you're already creating campaigns, you already should have experience in this, but you're going to, it, it's the same exact process that you're normally going through. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to put the campaign name, obviously, highly recommend that you put it the coupon clipping campaign, make it super obvious what it is because you're going to want to track this and we'll talk about that in a second um, but you're going to set up a campaign as normal so you're going to pick automatic or manual campaign um, and then obviously you're going to go and pick your bids you're going to go ahead and put the specific products in it um, I highly recommend in this case that you only create an SPA with the products that are involved with the coupon clipping I wouldn't involve any other products just because it could get confusing um, so make sure you're just adding in those coupon clipping products it does give you the option to add more in and I just wouldn't recommend that um, and then obviously if you're setting up a manual campaign you have to have those keywords ready so you'll plug in those keywords obviously plugging in any new negative keywords in as well. Um, so that's how you're going to set it up, which is just really cool. You're going to submit it. Now, how are you going to track this? Obviously, that is super important for a lot of you guys. It's just making sure you can track this, making sure it is profitable. So you're going to track this coupon clipping the same way you've been tracking all your other coupon clippings in that coupon clipping dashboard. And one thing I will say, and again, I, I know we're focusing more on the coupon clipping advertising portion, but I do feel it is important just to give um, our best practices for coupon clippings. So when we set up a coupon clipping, we are monitoring it in the dashboard, um, not just because we have these ads going on now, but also because um, we want to make sure there's enough budget for that coupon clipping to last the whole time, right? So obviously you set your budget up when you first set up a coupon clipping, which is great. But as far as the budget goes, it is important to watch that because you want to make sure it's, it survives, right? It survives the whole time that you've set up the coupon clipping. So if you're watching the, watching the coupon clipping and you're seeing that it's 
absolutely killing it, you should be increasing that budget to go with it so that it can continue to run as you have it running, right, as you set it. So that's why I say you should monitor your, your coupon clipping dashboard no matter what. Um, but also for this ads in particular, right, this is a new element to it. So as far as how long will your coupon clipping last, it might go a little bit faster, right? So I want you guys monitoring that budget, making sure you have enough allocated to last the entire time you've put forward. Um, obviously, the other way you're going to be able to track this is at the campaign level. So how you're gonna do that, if this campaign is going to be saved just like any other campaign. It's going to be in your PPC dashboard. You'll be able to see just what does the A cost look like? What does the budget look like? What does the spend look like? Everything like that. You'll be able to track that just like any other PPC campaign. Um, so one thing, you know, I know this is been a common question. Um, so this was what we featured on what's new on Amazon this week, that email sequence we have with you guys. And, um, you know, one question we have been getting is, you know, how much budget should I allocate to this since this is so new? Truthfully, I would recommend starting a little bit smaller, um, kind of a test run, right? You want to see really what products make the most sense for this, um, what time frame makes the most sense for this, what um, in terms of what coupon clipping makes the most sense, percentage off, dollar off amount, how much, right? So, so many different things at play here. So I think let's keep it simple to start it off. Let's keep with a lower budget just to, just to start it off and see how it does. Um, so that would be my best advice for you guys just to get this rolling. Now, as far as optimizations, things like that, um, what I would really recommend is you start off with your number one product, the product that has done the best with coupon clippings. That's the one that you should be kicking this off with um, and see how it does. Now, let's say it doesn't do super hot. Um, I don't want you to give up on this, right? Because this is huge, right? Especially heading into quarter four, I want you guys to really engage with this and try to master it um, before we head into quarter four because this really is something you hopefully will be able to take advantage of um, just come Christmas time, Thanksgiving, all that stuff. Um, so quite honestly, give this another shot. So maybe it didn't go as well. So maybe it means you need to increase your budget for the PPC campaign, or maybe it means that instead of a percentage off coupon clipping, you need to have a dollar off coupon clipping. Um, there's just so many little tweaks. Um, another example, we have Labor Day weekend coming up. Maybe you ran it during Labor Day weekend, and we all know that Labor Day weekend, people are busy doing Labor Day weekend things and not really shopping on Amazon. So, you know, make sure you give this a shot, optimize it accordingly, make little tweaks, um, whether it's changing even the product, right? There's so many different things you guys can be doing um, to optimize this and really learn how you can take advantage of this. So, you know, why is this such a big deal, right? Because I, I know you guys are like, you know, coupon clippings already have a pretty good visibility in terms of just how it shows up on your listing, things like that. But quite honestly, guys, Amazon has never let you use Amazon PPC to advertise your promotions, right? Um, you know, SBAs for all of you brand registered sellers, you know, you have those sponsored brand ads where you do show up in the headline, right? Right at the top of an Amazon listing, or um, I'm sorry, on the top of the Amazon search, right? But you're never allowed to use promotional language there. So even if you are able to kind of customize those ads and things like that, you've never had this opportunity to actually advertise a sale that you have going on. So this is crucial, guys. And this is something that I just want you to start working with now in preparation for quarter four. So as far as the coupon clipping ads go, that's all I have for you today. Um, quite honestly, I would love to hear how this goes for you guys. So definitely shoot us some responses, just how it's working for you. Would love to hear about it. Would love to help you out in your process. Um, so if you have any questions on this, definitely feel free to go to turnkeyproductmanagement.com. Go to the contact us and let us know if you have any questions on this. Um, also feel free to send us a message through Facebook. We'd be more than happy to help. Um, last thing I want to leave you guys with, uh, just prior to signing off here is I would love for you guys to comment on this video, um, and let us know what else you guys want to hear from us, right? So we are going to be doing these Facebook lives probably every Friday. Hopefully that works right. Um, but you know, I want to hear what you guys want to learn from us. I want to hear what you guys need help with. That would really help us to plan this for you and make sure we're helping you guys as much as possible because that's honestly my goal every Friday morning. So now as far as Facebook Live goes, that is all I have for you today. I will be here next Friday at 12.30, not at 10 a.m. So I will see you guys here. Have a great rest of your Friday and have a great weekend and I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much.